This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers with Green Acres Pest Control and today we're going to do a product review. I know I've done a lot of these and you guys seem to like them so I thought I'd do another one. Uh, we're going to talk about diatomaceous earth or DE for short. Now if you've watched any of my other videos on my channel uh, you know that I'm against diatomaceous earth by the consumer and we're going to talk about that today and I'm going to explain why it's a dangerous product and why you need to be careful when using dusts for pest control. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. So today we're going to talk about diatomaceous earth. What is it? What does it do? And how effective is it at pest control? On a scale of 1 to 10, we're going to discuss whether or not you should buy it, whether or not you should use it, how easy is it to use, and how effective is it once it's applied. Um, diatomaceous earth, it consists of uh, silicate. Now, now, I'm talking about food grade, so I want, I want to get that out there right away. Food grade diatomaceous earth, all right? Not pool grade diatomaceous earth, but food, you know. Would assume, one would assume, that you could eat it, you know, but you can't. Don't eat it. But, you know, they, they've got these different terms that they put on chemicals and products, like food grade. And food grade does not necessarily mean that you can eat it. You can actually get food grade peroxide. I don't recommend drinking it. Um, so let's, let's go over that. Let's go over food grade diatomaceous earth and why it's a dangerous thing to use. Because a lot of people comment on my diatomaceous earth videos and they talk about oh how I'm just upset because it's cutting into my profits and it's so effective at pest control and which really honestly it's not it's honestly just a placebo effect with the diatomaceous earth but I want to explain where it is effective and where you could you could you know theoretically use it and actually have a, a, a decent pest control issue you know solved a, a very mild pest control issue solved so <clears throat> let's get off with the rambling. Diatomaceous earth has uh, two different properties. And the problem is, is that it is, you have the crystalline diatomaceous earth and the amorphous uh, style diatomaceous earth. And the crystalline is actually what is harmful to you. So how is diatomaceous earth harmful? It's harmful through uh, breathing it in. So if you breathe it in to your lungs, then it can cause problems with your uh, with, it can cause uh, COPD, asthma, emphysema. Uh, it can aggravate those symptoms, make them worse. If you already suffer with COPD, asthma, and other breathing type problems, um, it is very bad for uh, for you know respiratory. It's it's a, it's a it's a toxin to the respiratory system. Um, and the reason that is is not because of the diatoms that are in it. Well, maybe diatoms are actually uh, you know ground up microscopic crustaceans. But DE, in order to carry the diatoms, the diatomaceous earth, the diatoms in, into the, uh, you know, the dust, they use silica powder, silicates, which is like sand. You know, a, sand is a silicate. Um, you know, uh, other dusts are considered silicates. In fact, you could get a little silica packet in, in your, like in your beef jerky or uh, your tennis shoes, and it's designed to absorb um, moisture. You know, that's what silicates do. Silicates absorb moisture. So what happens is when you use these dusts, they, they cause microscopic abrasions to the insects. So insects have an exoskeleton. Now this is, they don't sweat like me and you. They, they keep all of their fluid internal. So they don't actually sweat and produce any kind of fluid. I mean, they do drink and they do excrete, you know, water and stuff, but they're not gonna sweat it out. 
So what you do when you use a diatomaceous earth or some exa or some of these other pesticide dusts, they're designed to cause micro abrasions to the exoskeleton. So it, it creates pores where there weren't any pores. So the bug begins to sweat and they begin to, the water in the body begins to evaporate. You know, it doesn't cut them. They don't, they don't get this, you know, bloody mess or anything like if you were to walk across broken glass, but it causes them to lose their bodily fluids through evaporation. And that is how diatomaceous earth kills bugs. So the problem with this premise and using it, so I see a lot of people that, re that, that recommend using diatomaceous earth for things like fleas and roaches and bed bugs. And the problem is, is that yes, while it does kill these bugs, it doesn't kill them fast enough. So you have problems where the bugs are able to come in and lay eggs and then they might die. Uh, they might not. I've actually seen bugs crawl right across diatomaceous earth and not die. So it doesn't always kill them. If you pile it up in little piles, the, what happens is the, the diatoms microscopically actually fit into one another like a puzzle and it causes a nice smooth surface. It doesn't cause an abrasive surface. It causes a smooth surface for the insects to crawl across. And so if you, you do use a dust, you need to have it finely uh, applied to the point where you don't even see it. It's like nothing. I mean, and you definitely don't want to put it in places like your mattress or your uh, out in your carpets, you know, for fleas, because you're going to walk through these areas every day. Your children are going to crawl through these areas. They're going to maybe come get into bed with you at night if they have a nightmare. And these things are going to stir up into the air. You may not see them, but it happens. In fact, on a nice bright sunny morning when the sun shines, shines through the windows of your home, you can actually see the dust particulate in the air as it floats through the air. And that's all the dust and stuff in your house. It could be skin cells. It could be diatomaceous earth if you've gone and applied it everywhere. And then you're breathing that into your lungs and that's what's bad for you. That's why I don't recommend the use of diatomaceous earth. But this, I've done this in other videos. I've talked about diatomaceous earth in other videos and why it's a bad idea. But let's actually talk about the effectiveness of diatomaceous earth as a pesticide. So I've gotten all that stuff out of the way. Let's talk about the effectiveness and what if you should buy it. You know, it, yeah, you can wear a respirator, you can wear a dust mask, you can apply this stuff, and you can do it safely. There are places that you can apply diatomaceous earth, and I would recommend if you understand how to use a dust and you're using a bellows duster and you're applying it properly. Now, I do have videos on how to apply a dust properly. I do have videos. But even me, with over 30 years of experience, even I misapply diatomaceous earth sometimes and I have to go and clean it up. So, it's, this is one of the reasons I don't use dust. I hardly ever use dust. I, now I'm getting ready to go kill yellow jackets right now. I use dust to kill yellow jackets. I don't use diatomaceous earth. I use alpine D dust. And so that's a pesticide dust. But in the inactive ingredients, there's diatomaceous earth. So, you know, this is part of the thing that actually carries the pesticide into the hive of bees. And it's very effective. Um, but it has a pesticide, and the pesticide is what is effective at killing the bees. So, Diatomaceous earth, how effective is it at pest control? Um, honestly, it's not very effective. When you use DE, even though it does kill bugs, the problems that I mentioned before with DE is that it doesn't kill them fast enough. Well, it does kill them. They do die. They end up dying from dehydration. Uh, when, Like I said, when you've applied it properly, they die from dehydration. And it works. And it kills them. But the issue is with the eggs. The eggs are still laid. If a roach comes out and crawls through DE, and it dies, but it's gone up into the wall somewhere and laid its eggs, dropped an egg sac in there, those eggs are going to hatch out, and you're going to have bugs. And they may not crawl through the DE. They may just be perfectly happy crawling along a wire in the wall and come out around an outlet or something like that, and they've never ever actually come into contact with the DE. And so it's not going to be that effective for cockroach control. Same with bed bugs. You really should not be treating your mattress with diatomaceous earth. It is a danger to you as a person laying in the bed with this dust all around you. Even if it's inside a mattress cover, an encasement, uh, under your sheets, and you've gone and made your bed and you've covered it up, it still comes out. It still does permeate out through the sheets. It does. This is something I've witnessed myself years 
years and years, I've, I've witnessed the misapplication of diatomaceous earth. In fact, it even says on the back of the packaging for food grade, DE, not to apply it out in the open, to stick to cracks and crevices and inside wall voids and places that people are not gonna come into contact with it. And if you put it in those places, bed bugs still live on your mattress. They still live in your box spring. You would still need to apply something to those areas other than DE. So basically what I'm trying to say here is diatomaceous earth is not the end all solution for pest control. You still need to use other products to get rid of bugs. Just because DE is considered an all natural pesticide, you know, all natural pesticide, it doesn't mean that it's safe. It doesn't mean that you should do it. It doesn't mean that you should put it around your family, around your pets. People treat their cats and their dogs with diatomaceous earth. They rub it all in their fur and it's not safe for them either. It's actually poisonous. So understand that I'm only trying to help. Now, crystalline diatomaceous earth is what is in all diatomaceous earth, even food grade. This is the form of DE that you do not want to breathe. It is also impossible, absolutely impossible, for them to remove all of the crystalline DE from diatomaceous earth. There is always going to be some present, and that is what makes you sick. Even in the food grade, it's still there. You can't get rid of it. It's not possible. So, what do I rank diatomaceous earth for the effectiveness on a scale of 1 to 10 I scale it back about a three. While it does kill bugs, and why I actually recommend, I recommend using it like in a yard. If you put it in your yard for things like grubs and stuff like that, then that's fine. But not inside your home. Never inside your home. Um, so, you know, on a scale of one to ten, for the effectiveness of just general pest control, I give it about a three or a two. Honestly, it's pretty low down on the list. Um, and this is just my honest opinion because you can go on my channel and you can watch all my videos and I teach people how to apply pesticides effectively, how to be safe. You know, just because it's a pesticide, you know, doesn't mean it's going to kill you. It, it won't. If you obey the label and you follow the label like you saw at the beginning of this video, you know, I talk about the label is the law. Follow the label and you won't get hurt. It's completely safe as long as you follow the label. And so follow the label of the pesticides and you can buy the same pesticides I use in my business that I use professional grade pesticide and you can apply them and you can kill your bugs and you can be more effective. Go back and watch some of my other reviews and you'll learn what pesticides I use and which ones I recommend. So, and also there are links below that, that, that point you to all these things. So I don't, you know, just so you know where to find them. But as far as effectiveness, I give it about a two, two and a half, three, maybe, and that's being generous. Um, the ability for the customer to use, which these are the two, the two things that I usually use to, to you know, rank a pesticide, um, and the ability to use it properly to where it is effective for someone that has no experience using dust, um, I would give it a one, uh, very low. And that's because even professionals that know how to apply dust, which I self-admitted, it's, you still can misapply a dust. It's very easy to misapply a dust. They are, they're, there's a finesse, a certain ability that you have, to, um, you have to learn how, and you have to be able to apply it. And if you're, you know, if you're not applying it all the time, it's something that you will absolutely lose the ability to do. And so uh, I don't recommend applying it really ever. You know, it's one thing if you're putting it out over your yard and you really don't have to try very hard but when you're putting it in your home and you're putting it in places that are in contact with dogs and cats and people uh, and, you know, just, just anyone at all, it's just not something that I would recommend you do. So hopefully this video has helped you understand what I recommend and why I recommend the things that I do and why I don't recommend the use of diatomaceous earth. Hopefully this has answered a lot of questions. I get a lot of questions all the time about DE. I don't want you to be worried if you've gone and misapplied it already. You can clean it up, use a HEPA vacuum, you know, wipe it up with a damp cloth you know, so it's not going to stir it up in the air, and you can get rid of it in your house if you've misapplied. 
So understand that it's not the end all. You know, you're not going to kill yourself. <laughs> you know, it is very slow acting, even on people. If you do ingest some of it or, or breathe it in, it is very slow acting. But I want you to understand that you can, you know, don't don't hurt yourself. I know there's videos online and there's things pointing to diatomaceous earth saying it's the cheapest ability to kill bugs. The solution they don't want you to know about. You know, all these clickbait titles about DE just to get people to watch the video, making them think that it works. And really, it's it's not effective. And it, it, it honestly, it'll harm you. And I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to hurt yourself. This is what my channel is about. My channel is about teaching the common average Joe how to do their own pest control, how to be able to do it right. And in fact, on Thursday nights, I even I come online, I talk live, I answer questions. Uh, any question you have, if you have a question about diatomaceous earth, leave it in the comment below or even come and talk to me on my channel. I'll be there to answer your questions Thursday night, typically after 9.30, once I get the kids to bed, that's when I'm online. So hopefully this video has been effective at explaining to you the, the right and wrong ways to use DE and if you really should even buy it at all. And my overall vote is, nope, don't get it. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. I appreciate it. And I'll see you Thursday nights on my live stream. Thanks a lot. Bye.